Do you know today is World Mental Health Day? World Mental Health Day takes place on October 10th every year to promote awareness of mental health advocacy around the globe. Here at USD, our lives can be hectic, and that can lead to forgetting the importance of a happy and healthy mind. But mental health isn't one size fits all, so Student Wellness decided to ask members of our campus community, how do you take care of your mental health? Oh, I like to get outside and get some exercise, but sometimes we don't always have time for that. Um, so even if it's just for a moment, getting out to look for a beautiful flower, a pretty bird, butterfly that's floating from flower to flower, that's awesome. The main thing is making time for myself. I think the most relaxing thing I can do is play piano. So when I take care of my mental health, I go to the gym. Um, and I kind of remind myself that whatever progress I make is progress in the right direction. And so um, it helps me to just keep pushing, but also at my own pace, no matter how I'm feeling. I go to Founders Chapel and take a moment to myself. I support my mental health by spending time with family and friends and including vulnerable conversations in those relationships. The two things I do to take care of my me mental health are meditate and rock climbing. That I love being around people. USC provides like a million different ways you can get involved. So whether it's going to a meeting, whether it's hanging out with friends, I think that's a great way that I, that I support my mental health. I like to take care of my mental health uh, by working out, getting some exercise in. Also, uh, catching some vitamin D at the beach definitely helps that I live there. So, just stepping outside, catching some rays. I spend a lot of time engaging in self-care just because I am such a busy person. That involves writing poetry, being on the phone with my partner, um, and watching movies. I take time for myself and making sure that I don't have any distractions like social media, um, things like that. Just really being in the moment. I like to light a candle and put on my favorite music and just, just lay on my couch. <laughs> for me, definitely writing about how I'm feeling to kind of get the emotions out helps me a lot and also talking to a friend just to vent because it makes me feel valid in how I feel. So I take care of my mental health by going to therapy. I'm a huge proponent of being able to talk to somebody and really just get a new perspective. Well, I try to walk for at least an hour a day. I have a dog so it makes it pretty easy to do but just getting all that sunshine and getting a bit of physical activity really helps me feel better. I love to be outside in nature, whether it is being outside in the fresh air or being near a body of water, like going to the beach or even sitting near a fountain on campus. I take care of my mental health by making sure I have time to be with myself. I take care of my mental health by walking my dog. One of my favorite things to do now is to start my morning early. And if I can get in a morning hike, I try to head over to Mission Trails, South Fortuna being my favorite mountain. And I start my morning just doing a mountain hike, meditating, just being by myself in nature. I absolutely like to get outside. Um, I had a tough day a couple of weeks ago and immediately went to Sunset Cliffs to watch the sunset and be in nature and really just appreciate where I am and how lucky I am to live here. This year, World Mental Health Day is focused on suicide prevention and awareness, or 40 seconds of action. According to the World Health Organization, we lose a life to suicide every 40 seconds, and it's among the top three causes of death in people ages 15 to 29. You can help make a difference through awareness, education, and advocacy. Being informed about the resources available on USC's campus and knowing the warning signs to recognize can help you if you, a friend, or a colleague are ever struggling with suicidal thoughts. Signs that someone may be experiencing depression or suicidal ideation can include expressing hopelessness or loneliness, increased substance use, disruption in sleep patterns, extreme mood swings, and isolation. If you notice these behaviors in someone you know, talk to them, express your concern and support, and help direct them toward an on-campus wellness resource. A lot can happen in 24 hours, and the Counseling Center knows that. They have a trained counselor on call 24-7 for emergency help. They also provide many different counseling options, from group therapy sessions and support groups to individual counseling, consultations, and community referrals. The Counseling Center has something to suit every need. You can make an appointment by calling or through your USD My Wellness portal. If you don't feel comfortable accessing campus resources, that's okay too. There are always more options available. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline allows you to get confidential support from a trained crisis worker who will listen to you and connect you to resources wherever you may be at the time. 
Sometimes struggling with mental health can seem impossible, but there are resources on and off campus that are here to help you through those hard times. We hope that you'll take time today and every day to look out for those around you, practice self-care, and explore different ways to take care of your mental health, whatever that means for you. Today, we support mental health awareness by wearing green. When you see these green little ribbons on campus, know that you're not alone. The USD Wellness team wishes you a safe and mindful World Mental Health Day.